Yeah, I decided to return to one at off screen, and this guy has something pretty hilarious to say. Yeah, what do you think I am, Vivi? Get the f get out of here. Yeah, you would look less helpless too if you beat the uh, ruler of evil. Nice. Well, man, maybe I can. Maybe the uh, library. Uh, maybe the librarian can give me a lay. Hey, woman, I just saved the world. Kiss me. Oh. Well, that was ten years ago. Ugh. Oh. 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 No. That's right. My, my ten year high school reunion. It's in November. Yeah, I got my uh, ten year reunion coming up. Ugh. My god. I'm gonna be 29 in a few days. Next year is gonna suck. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. No, it's cool. And yeah, I see the uh, mother gives you a uh, one last chance to talk to everybody uh, before uh, viewing the credits. So yeah, yeah. If you say yes, you view the credits. If you say no, uh, whatever. So yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah. She warns you. There. So. What's up, Alf? Nice. You should have had a kitty. I'm not a dog person. No, ever since I had that rabid dog when I was five years old? No. What's up, Tracy? Ha! <laughs> yeah. So Tracy has to be like, like a year younger than Ness. They gotta be in like maybe the same grade or something? I don't know. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah, I mean, you know. She doesn't give it up, but whatever. And we're holding out for marriage. I hope not. Whatever. Alright, I'm being very lewd. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tell Paula that I want to get laid. Damn it. I'm horny as hell. Okay, whatever. Alright, I'm sorry, viewers. Look, I said I'd be really, really vulgar in this LP, okay? I did, did, I, did I lie? Did I hold back? No. Alright, so let's do this. Awesome. Alright. We walk in place, just like all in, in all other RPGs, I guess. I don't know, maybe that's their uh, animation of waving or something. Alright. Woo! And it's finally over. Awesome. You get to see the credits. And they have a cast of characters, too, which is nice. Alright, let's watch the credits roll. Man, did I have fun doing this LP. I mean, there's a reason why there are literally hundreds of LPs of this game. It's because it is so lp I don't know. I don't know what else to say it. I don't know how else to say it, but whatever. It's just really, really fun to play. Uh, and yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I just... I, I, I trailblazed through this game probably faster than any other game I've ever LP'd. So, yeah, you know, it's just because it's just that damn addictive. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I could play this in a... I didn't think I could play this without using PK, but, hey, I did, so, nice. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a, uh... Like, an extended review of this game. Uh, and it's gonna kind of be a response to what the happy video game nerd was saying about it a couple years ago in his Earthbound review because he heralded this game as a forgotten gem uh, and he said oh yeah it had no right to be ignored and what I want to do is what I'm gonna review the game and I'm and after it I'm gonna provide some reasoning as to why Earthbound has been ignored because there are definitely a lot of key reasons why it is so ignored and let me say first and foremost that I am going to be comparing this game to a lot of other RPGs that were made before and after this game. Uh, namely, Dragon Quest, uh, or Dragon Quest 2, Final Fantasy 6, and Chrono Trigger. So, yeah, so on with the review. Uh, let's first go over the story. 
the story, you know, compared to, like I said, compared to Dragon Quest and Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI, it pretty much is Dragon Quest. I mean, you know, you have Gaigus and he's taking over the world, and Porky is, you know, his right-hand minion, so it's save the world from Gaigus, and Porky is going to stop you at every move. It really doesn't depart much when you get down to it from Dragon Quest, really. I mean, there's not really that much character development. Uh, there's a lot of, there's excellent, the dialogue is amazing, and that's why this game is so fun to play. It's because you want to know what everyone else says after, or what everyone else says next. But, that doesn't make, that doesn't make a good story. Uh, a good story is one that, you know, you can really get into without the dialogue of NPCs. I mean, yeah, NPC dialogue does mean a lot, but take Chrono Trigger, for example. I mean, that had excellent NPC dialogue and a compelling story. Final Fantasy VI, same with Final Fantasy VI. I mean, yeah, Final Fantasy VI is a, you know, yeah, you know, hey kid, you know, you're the hero, go save the world, as uh, the happy video game nerd says. Earthbound is no different. So, I'll give the story, like, maybe like a 7 out of 10. The music, best music, not best music ever, but one of the best soundtracks ever made. I mean, Keichi Suzuki and the other guy, I forget who his name is, did an excellent job with the music in this game. I mean, like the happy, I'm going to agree with the happy video game nerd and say that it has one of the most diverse soundtracks in gaming history. I mean, there, I mean, apart from, we'll say, Metal Gear Solid, I mean, yeah, it's just, there's so many different tracks, and they all, like, they all, they all grab you, they all, they all take you to, you know, different places. Yeah, Suzuki and Tanaka, there you go. So, excellent music, 9 out of 10. Uh, graphics, I mean, this game was made in the middle of 1994, released in the United States in 1995. Uh, to be quite honest, I have seen better SNES graphics before 1995 when this was released. Uh, namely, like I said, Final Fantasy VI. Um, so, I'm going to have to give the graphics probably a 7 out of 10. They're just a little bit above average, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, it, it meets expectations, uh, you know, when, in, uh, R when it comes to RPG standards, but when it comes to SNES standards as a whole, eh, it doesn't really do much special there, uh, what else is there? The gameplay I'm actually going to give a 5 out of 10, and this is the reason why I give it a 5 out of 10. It's just, it's just average, because this game forces PK on you every chance it gets. I had to get really creative in finding ways to defeat my enemies in this playthrough. For example, leveling Jeff up to where I had to you know, to where he had enough IQ to fix the broken bazooka so we could have, so all of our players could have a reliable method of attacking and not get killed by the enemies. And I had to abuse bottle rockets and everything like that, and, you know, and I, and, uh, I mean, you know, when Ness is alone and Magic can't, I mean, like, pfft, like, I mean, luck literally determined how that went. And yeah, I mean, I was able to use Dragonite, and I was able to use Sudden Guts pills, and yeah, I mean, this game does offer some really cool items, but once again, it's nothing that Dragon Quest doesn't... It's nothing that... It's like, okay, it's like a slight step better than Dragon Quest, but I still think that Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger outperf... Well, yeah, the Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger outperform it. Uh, 
And they and and I'm gonna get into that in another video. Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna be this isn't the last uh, video of this LP because I'm gonna keep on going with this review. But yeah, I mean, I think honestly, the the gameplay of Earthbound of Earthbound, it it's it's Dragon Quest. I mean, what Ness is the hero who can pretty much do everything. Jeff is the warrior who can use, you know, awesome weapons and 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 items and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, maybe they, I mean, it was kind of original what they did with Jeff, but I mean I mean it's it, like I said, it's nothing that Final Fantasy 6 didn't do with Shadow. Right? I mean, Shadow has, you know, shurikens and scrolls that he can throw. Jeff has bazookas and bottle rockets that he can use. You know, and, and Pooh was the red mage and uh and Paula was the black mage. I mean, come on. I mean, if you couldn't figure that out, then whatever. And I know the setting is like, yeah, you know, it's it's mid 1990s, and it's so much better than. And it, is, is, does that make the game that much better than Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI? I mean, that's just on the surface, and that's something that when you're reviewing a game, I mean, yeah, looking on the surface is cool, and it was cool to see like. You know, a setting like this in 1995, but even when I was 13, I was still looking for a game that would really wow me beyond, you know, what I saw. And in my opinion, Chrono Trigger did that more for me than Earthbound. But yeah, so I don't know. That's just my opinion. Uh. And yeah, that ends part one of my review of Earthbound. Uh, yeah, and as player uh, Hinawa there. <laughs> That's not me. I'm the big Jew. But I decided to have uh, Hinawa. I decided to have Paula pray to Hinawa there. Because I thought that, was a, that would have created a nice touch. I hope you guys liked that. <laughs> Alright. So... Yeah, stay tuned for the second part of my review. Uh, I'm probably going to wait a day or so to uh, record it, and I'm going to just upload all of these uh, at different times in the same day and whatever. Uh, pr actually, probably I'll probably like upload a couple on one day and a couple on another. So there you go. So stay tuned for the final part of this LP.